Okay. Alright, I received this comment twice from this person. So, no, I did not forget. I actually made a video, but I wasn't too happy with it, so I never uploaded it. So, how to stop caring what people think of you? Okay, there's a number of things we can do. First, we can attack this from like a logical perspective, and it's like, well, people really don't care about you. They're, they're too into their own lives to really give a crap about you and your life or whatever, but yeah, they're still gonna judge you whenever you do something weird or whatever. Attacking it from this logical perspective doesn't really do much, okay? What does help is the whole idea of letting go. So what I found at least in my experience is that whenever I care the most of what people think of me, whenever I feel like I can't just start dancing here, you know what I mean? Like you know when you, you know when you go to a dance and there's that awkward phase where no one has really started the party yet and there's like people on both sides of the dance floor. This is like back in if you're in middle school. And it's even like that if you go to clubs nowadays like there's a lot of people that will kind of stand off to the wall and don't really want to get involved. And sometimes it's because that's just kind of like their whole identity. But a lot of the time it's because they're nervous to start dancing on the dance floor and people are going to judge them. And is this cool to do or is this weird? Is this gay? Is this whatever? People are very judgmental of themselves too. So whenever I found that I've been like that, where I haven't been able to just you know, start dancing on the spot or sing in public or whatever it may be, stuff like that. Usually what's happening is part of me is trying to control what those people are going to think of me. So rather than just let people think what they want about me and not tie my identity or my self-worth or self-esteem to that, but be independent of it, rather than be like that, what'll happen is I'll, I'll, I'll do this shift where I'll be concerned with what this person and this person and this person thinks and then my behavior will change. I won't be able to express myself in a natural way, we'll say. Instead, I'll, I'll come across as stifled, almost like I'm constantly judging and analyzing all the things I'm saying and then you don't seem like a real human being you, and people won't connect with you when you're, when you're like that. So it's, it's funny, it's like the more you care about what people think of you, the worse of an impression you're likely to make on people. Now there's, there's some other things that have helped besides this first philosophical, philosophical philosophy of just letting go of what people think of you and not trying to control what they think of you, letting go of the control. The other thing I find that really helps is a very simple saying that came from this guy named Alex. I'll put a link to his website below. Alex had this saying that was basically like um, expression, not impression. So whenever you feel nervous, let's say you're about to go up on stage and make a speech, or let's say you wanna go up to someone and you're gonna risk rejection by asking them out on a date. Or let's say, um, let's say you have a job interview to go to. That's a good one. A lot of people get nervous about that. Instead of focusing on creating an impression, just focus on expressing yourself, all right? Basically, when you're trying to impress someone, you're no longer being real with that person. You're not being authentic. And I sent out a tweet the other day because I was doing some cold calling to help out my stepdad. And one of the things I learned very quickly was that when I would call people on the phone and be like, uh, Hi, I'm calling from such and such business. Uh, we sent you a thing last week to follow up on. I'm just calling to follow up, whatever. Bad response as far as what would happen. People wouldn't be interested. They'd kind of just be like going through the motions to, to get through it. And then when I would call and I'd be like, hey, how's it going? It, it, immediately the whole tone of the call would change and the person would be much more receptive. receptive. They'd be more open. They'd be more chatty, they'd be nicer to me, they'd help me out a lot more, they'd say, hey, yeah, sure, yeah, you know what, I'll transfer you to Jerry in sales or whatever the case is. So when you're not trying to impress people in any way or create an impression that you are professional or you are this or you are, you are attractive or you are cool, when you don't do any of those things but you just express yourself, that just like opens up this whole new channel where you can authentically connect with another human being. Okay, but ultimately, I mean, I've given you guys a couple good pieces of advice because I, I, I've dealt with this stuff a lot. I remember in high school, I gave a presentation once and I was so nervous that I was holding this sheet that I was, it was such a bad presentation too, but I was, I was holding this sheet that I was showing to people and you know when your hands start to shake when you're holding a piece of paper during a presentation? The fact that I was showing them this sheet and I was conscious that my hands were shaking a bit was like, it just made me like 10 times more nervous. And, and I swear, like it felt like the sheet was like moving all over the place. Um, so in, a lot of us have those experiences from, uh, 
from middle school and high school and even college and and well a lot of well public speaking is the biggest fear in the world right so I guess a lot of people have those experiences their whole life but the one thing I'm getting at is that regardless of you know whether these philosophies will work or not for you like this idea of letting go of control this idea of expression not impression regardless you're still likely going to feel fear and you're still likely going to care a bit about what people think of you I think this whole idea that people can completely just no longer care at all what people think of them and that people can you know completely eliminate their fear of public speaking. I think it's a fallacy because at least with public speaking, like I've, I've done a fair bit of research and learning in that area. And the people that I've talked to that like speak for a living, they still feel nervous before going on stage. You know, think of musicians. Like once you get on stage and you get going, it gets a bit better. But think of musicians, how often they talk about like, uh, I don't know if they call it stage fright. It's more for like performers. I mean like, actors, performers, but musicians play on a stage too. Wow, my brain is going at like two kilometers an hour right now. But anyways, uh, musicians, they, they still get stage fright even though they've been doing it for a long, long time. At least most of them. Some people just don't and, and maybe you can cultivate that in some way. But what I'm getting at is that these people have been facing their fears and they're still afraid of it and they still have to face the fear on a consistent basis, like every time they go and perform. So what you have to do is learn to act with fear. You know, if you have fear over doing something, just do it anyways. Do it anyways and use these philosophies to try and help you. And that's it guys, get strong. I don't want to wear out your day or your energy or your mind or your time more.